guys. I have Alyssa here with me. I think we're gonna to try to get these gnomes done. We've been talking about them for a while. Show you guys how to make them, how we make them. You take, this is a toilet paper roll and you cut these off of it. You just like, you know how toilet paper rolls look. They, they look like this. <laughs> and you just cut circles off of toilet paper rolls. That's what you use to make the gnomes hat, this part right here and then um i take another piece of cardboard like this uh it's about i don't know six inches wide maybe not that long five inches wide and i don't know maybe eight inches long nine inches long and i use the long end to do the gnome so like pick a color thread Alyssa, for the hat wants to do a white hat so you take your yarn can you pull the yarn off of it take your yarn and we did about that much then we take this and we start wrapping it around this cardboard can you help me count one, one two uh oh wait go no. two three, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, hang on, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then you do about twenty times for the hat. And when you get it right like that, for the hat, this is just for the hat, you cut it while it's still on the cardboard. You take this and you cut it. Cut it loose from here. And then you have these long strings. Now I'm not sure long strings for the hat, but it'd be okay this time. So once you get your long strings for your hat, put all that over to the side, pick one of these things up. So we have that toilet paper roll and you have your long strings. So you want to double your strings like this. And you, you hold this in and you hold your, your toilet paper roller and you stick it through here, through there like that. And then you want to take your strings and put it up through the loop like this. And then you'll pull it. And these are supposed to be even. So you want to try to keep these bottom strings as even as you can. If you get them uneven, just try to even them up. So you have these strings even down here at the bottom. Okay. And you do that all the way around this until you get your whole thing covered up with yarn like this. So, you, so that's how you do that. You take this, put it up. You gotta remember which side you started from. Put it up through here. Pull this. And pull it down. If it's not completely even at the bottom, it's okay. It's not gonna hurt anything and I'll show you why in a minute. Lisa, would you like to help me with one? Mm -hmm. Okay, look, you hold this. Okay, so we put this through here. Where's your other hand? Now take, look, hang on. Take this right here. Now this, pull it out. Pull it through there. Now pull it. Keep pulling. See how it makes that? So you want it to pull down tight. So we're gonna finish putting all these around this real quick. Whoa, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to stop There's that little hat. 
There she is. Isn't that cute, Lisa? So we have a little hat. Now I'll show you guys how to make this part, which this one didn't turn out like I wanted. I'm gonna show you how it's really supposed to be done. This one didn't turn out. You take your cardboard. Now, I'm gonna let Lisa pick the color head. What color head do you want? Pink or, or variegated? Uh, pink. Pink head? You want pink? We'll do pink head. We'll do pink head, guys. So it's basically the same concept with the head. Here, help me pull this off. See here, I pulled off enough. Okay, let's see if that's enough. So you take your cardboard again and you do the same thing you did while ago. You wrap this around it about 18 times. You don't have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So we got it right eighteen times. And then this time though, you don't cut it off of the cardboard. Like I cut it off of here, but you don't cut it off of the cardboard. You take it off the cardboard in one piece like that. And then you want to take a string and wrap around it in the middle. Not the string that's on it, but a string. I just cut that string off and I think it'll work. So you lay it down and you tie a string around the middle. Like that. Now, see, you have this, and all these are looped, but you don't want them to be looped, so after you do that, then you take your scissors and you cut your loops. See? So we gotta cut these loops. Cut it off of the cardboard. Like, I cut it off of here, but you don't cut it off of the cardboard. You take it off the cardboard in one piece, like that. And then you want to take a string and wrap around it in the middle. Not the string that's on it, but a string. I just cut that string off, and I think it'll work. So you lay it down, and you tie a string around the middle, like that. Now, see, you have this, and all these are looped, but you don't want them to be looped, so after you do that, then you take your scissors and you cut your loops. We gotta cut these loops. Might have a string in your mouth, right there. You just make sure your loops are cut. That's the wind. Okay, so see, you cut your loops. And then you have, it may be, you never know with him. And then you have your little gnome beard. And then you take your little hat and we'll glue it on you. Yeah, that was easy to do. Oh, well, there. So, I take a little bit of hot glue and um, glue the this so it doesn't come back loose and it doesn't slip. Oh, that was hard. Okay, I'll show you guys what I do with a hot glue in a minute for the nose and stuff. But, um, so yeah, see, go ahead. Okay, so after we get that part done, so, got my hot glue gun here. I have to put some more hot glue in it in a minute. And I have my little head, my little hat. So, on your little hat, you want to run a bead of hot glue around the, the brim of the hat. 
have to use when I'm in the book. Alright, see, so a pretty good little cup of hot glue there. And then you just take it and set it on top of the beard. Like that. Kind of hold it there for a minute, let it get set in. Okay, so there it is attached to the little hat. I'm going to lay it down. And um, this is my little known noses. I got the ones I didn't know I did. I guess I didn't look at what I was ordering. But I got the ones with the flat, they have a flat bottom, and then they have a little round thing on the little round nose. But I'm going to glue it on the little gnome right here. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in just a second. up with it on my fingers and everywhere else. I don't know if you guys have watched any other of our videos ever with me messing with hot glue, but it, it usually doesn't end well. I usually end up with it all over my fingers and everywhere else on the table. That's me for you. So, we have another gnome, guys. We have another gnome. I think I'll call him George. That is for my <laughs> not for you. <laughs> That's so cute though. But anyway, that's how you do the gnomes. What you doing, honey? Nothing. You sure? Mm -hmm. Are you filming? He's making a gnome, Melissa. I had to. It's cute. So anyway. He's making a gnome. Or, uh. Gonk, or whatever they're called. That's really all I have for our video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned how to make a gnome because they're so cute. Like oh, and... one other thing I didn't show you though is you can run a string through the hat to hang on the Christmas tree. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to run a string through the little hat to put him so they can hang him on the Christmas tree or wherever they want to hang him. So we hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up. And we'll see you in our next see video. See you in the next video. Peace. Peace.